100 series comes with two sets of holes, which are the industry standard 11 and a quarter inches wide by 11 inches deep. The stock seat comes mounted on the rearmost holes, which as we're looking at the seat pan tipped up, are the top sets of holes. As you can see, a Grammar 75 series seat bolts straight up to the stock seat pan on an IS2100 series Ferries lawnmower. The pigtail harness that the seat ships with, to hook up the air compressor on the seat itself, you only need to use the two center pins. Obviously one's for power, which I marked with a red dot, and one is ground. These use a 6.3 millimeter blade, so you need to supply yourself with a couple of uh, female spade connectors. One thing you're going to need to concern yourself if you do set up an air seat on your Ferris 2100 series mower is a way to either disconnect the power wires going to the seat or to give yourself a provision for having about three feet of wire going from the back of the seat down to your battery. In this case, I've just got my wires set up temporarily. This is not the way I would run it, but I wanted to set up the seat and test it and find out if I'm going to keep it or not. In my this is how the control for the air compressor works. The seat raises and lowers on this lever. Very simple, very elegant. The grammar seat lumbar adjustment is located on the left rear. It's this knob right here. And as you can see, it works a lever that then works a bell crank, which alternatively twists out a bottom or a top band. The foam insert that's behind this can be removed, the density can be changed, the size can be changed, and the position for and down can be changed. The headrest is very much like an automotive style in that it's indexed up and down. You see the silver clips, that's what actually indexes it. And it's feels like high density foam. The arms adjust up and down on these cams right here, these levers. They work screws and they move the arms up and down. The foam density on the arms is not a hard plastic, it's a high density foam covered with a plastic sheathing. It's not bad. I can't do this with uh, two or th just one hand, but this is what moves the backrest fore and back, the lean of the backrest. And then you've also got the adjustment of the fore and aft of the entire seat, and it moves, I think, four or six inches. It moves quite a bit. So I realize that my situation's a little different. I've got a really bad back. And by bad back, I mean I've got a really bad back. I've had multiple operations and I am fused from my S1 up to my L4 and my L4 and L3 joint is blown out. Not to mention my neck problems. At any rate, my problem that I have with the grammar seat is twofold. The seat pan is just frankly too short and it's cutting me about mid leg and the seat pan itself, the bottom seat cushion is very firm. It's firmer than say my uh, Equa, Herman Miller Equa office chair, and that's pretty firm. And I like that seat, that, sh that office chair, it works great on my bad back. And the second reason why I don't like the Herman, or this, this uh, grammar seat, is because it doesn't have a barrel back. And by that I mean, it needs to have a, it needs to have a pronounced roundness pocket shape that's straight up and down and barrel backed and if you look at the taper of the seat you'll see I'm, I'm going to exaggerate this with my hand but it has a curve right and there's no way for me to get this to be more barrel backed and I tried tipping the seat uh, fore and aft to try to get where the curve is hitting me but it 
it doesn't quite do it for my bad back. I suspect that other people with fused backs have the same problem. And if you've got an ailing back, I don't know, maybe lumbar support feels awesome. But once you're fused, you no longer want to have lumbar support. You're fused. You want to have support hitting you right about where you start to move again, which on me is about mid-length. I want to have the support starting right up here. And that's where the curvature of the seat turns back and so I've tipped the seat forward which makes an already short and hard seat pan fe feel even shorter and if anything even harder. The stock seat I feel outside of the fact that the, the air suspension is lacking I felt that the stock seat frankly with hardly any adjustment provision whatsoever is more comfortable than this grammar seat.